Yeah, hello guys. Today I want to introduce you here to my two new friends here, these little sheep. And I want to show you here how you can build one of these by yourself. So I'm going to give you here all the step-by-step -step instructions. And also I'm going to break this up into different chapters. So I check below in the description there you can uh, find links to every chapter and also I'm going to have some links here to all the different materials that you may have to buy in order to make one of these. Okay, so let's get going and check it out. Okay, so for this step I am using here one inch chicken wire and also some tin snips and then I have here these two pipes one and a half and three inch but these are just for assistance. So I start out by creating a tube out of this chicken wire and I am using here this three inch diameter drain pipe as uh, assistance and I cut now here the wire at the appropriate length. And I cut the wire just long enough so that the ends just overlap a little bit so that I can uh, kind of t tie these ends together so that the uh, we create here this little tube and please consider that the edges where we made the cut can be really sharp so please make sure not to injure yourself and now that we have uh, completed the tube now I'm going to pull this pipe back here by about two inches from the edge and now I am going to fold this over here to create some kind of half globe this does not have to be perfect, just uh, good enough. And as soon as this is completed, we can now remove here the pipe out of this tube and we won't need that anymore. Next, I'm going to create the body of the sheep. In this case here, I'm using this two feet long piece of chicken wire. This does not have to be precise. Uh, just remember the longer the piece that you're deciding to choose, the bigger the sheep will be in the end. And uh, other than that, I'm going to proceed here in the same way that I did with the uh, first tube that we created. The only difference here is that we are now going to close both ends of the tube. And now I'm going back to the smaller tube that I created earlier. And now this is going to be converted into the head and the neck. So first I'm going to measure here about six inches, which is going to be the snout. And now about at this location here, I'm going to make a 90 degree turn here by carefully folding this over so just like this doesn't have to be exactly 90 just about we can adjust this later on oh let me double check the length of the snout here so this is about six between six and seven inches and uh, if you make this too long then uh, in the end the head may look a little bit funny so I rather make it too short than too long. Next I'm going to attach here the head to the body and in order to do that I'm squishing here the lower end of the neck together as you can see here and then I'm uh, creating here a little hole on one end, one of the ends of the uh, body and then I'm sort of squishing or pushing the neck here into the body. This does not have to be really precise, just kind of get it in there, try to make it get stuck. Also that will help. And then now I'm going to use here a little bit of uh, wire and I'm using that to fasten here the neck to the body and I do that here by just simply going through the mesh and by just twisting the wire together. 
and the sturdier this connection is the better because the weight of the foam is going to pull down the head pretty soon. And now the last thing that we are missing is the legs and we're going to create those with the help of the one and a half inch pipe and this in general works in the same way as the uh, neck and the head. The only difference is that we are going to shorten here the piece for the leg to about nine inches and just like with the big tube with the small ones we are also going to uh, close up one of the ends that's going to be then the uh, bottom the uh, foot basically and since a sheep doesn't have just one leg we're going to create one two three and four of these okay so now let me show you how i attach these legs here to the body and since we can't just put them on just straight away as they are i am going to squish here the top part again a little bit and one side i'm going to actually bend downwards and the other one is going to stay straight as it is just like you see here and now i'm going to kind of attach this here to the main body doing this here with the front left leg in this case and I'm here using here my needle nose to bend the ends of the leg that stick into the body. I'm going to bend those so that the leg is attached to the body and then as you can see now here the front leg is really close to the front of the body so uh, and I'm doing that for a reason and that is the weight of the head is going to pull down on the sheep in the front pretty heavily as soon as we are going to put the foam on and uh, if you, the legs the front legs are too far back then it's very likely that the sheep easily falls forward and so to avoid that we attach the legs here the front legs really far to the front and after we repeated this process with the three other legs the sheep is going to look like this so now we have the cage here completed and in case yours does not stand up straight by itself at this point there's no need to worry we are going to take care of that in a second. Okay, so now we're taking care of foaming the legs and the snout. And for that, we are gonna need a spray foam gun. Then here, some spray foam. I have here this uh, window and door version. And then here I have some spray foam cleaner to uh, clean the gun after we're done with using it. Then here a small spray bottle with uh, water and then also I am going to use some plastic gloves and some uh, goggles here, really important. And then also here a piece of drop cloth so I don't ruin the table that I'm doing this on. So first I'm going to read here the safety instructions for the spray foam and then I'm going to shake this up here for a minute. And I also changed into some old clothes, so I don't ruin my nice ones. And now, after I screwed the can onto the spray foam gun here, I can start foaming the first leg here. And I do this here by trying to uh, get the foam onto the outside of the cage here, outside of the chicken wire. Uh, you can't really avoid the foam from uh, like going into the chicken wire, but uh, try to uh, keep it outside if you can. And I'm going here all around the entire leg here. And you see here how nice and thick I do this. So this is actually here fast forward. This is not the real speed that I'm doing this in. And I do this here 
all around and I also do this for all the uh, other three legs and also for the snout I'm going this going to do this everywhere and uh, after a couple of minutes around four minutes that's when the uh, foam kind of starts to dry then I'm using here some uh, water that I spray on here and uh, you know when the right time to do this is when the uh, foam doesn't stick to your gloves anymore. See here this does not stick to my gloves now and I'm sort of just squishing this now all together. So I'm squishing out the air and I'm making it nice and flat. And once I am done with that I am going to apply here a second layer of foam and this time I do this a little bit different. Here I'm just going really slow and I'm letting out just a really thin layer of foam here and I'm also going to do this here row by row and I take care that I'm going to apply the rows here really close to each other so that there's basically no gap in between them. And as soon as this foam is now again dry to the touch, I'm going to spray some water on there. And now I'm also squishing this down here. And this time it is going to create quite a nice and smooth surface. And then here let me quickly show you how I do the same thing here with the uh, snout. It kind of works the same way, it's just a little bit bigger surface. And again, I do here two layers and then I smoothen it out as best as I can. But let me also show you now here how you can stabilize the legs a little bit. What I'm going to do is here, I'm going to build a bridge here between the legs. So this has two advantages. So first of all, the uh, sheep doesn't collapse anymore in case that happened to you. But also this is going to prevent or help to prevent the sheep from falling forward because of the weight that the head is going to have in a couple of minutes. Yeah, and so now we are foaming up the body here. This is basically the last step when it comes to foaming. And here I'm going really nice and thick with the foam so that uh, later on here this body is going to look really fluffy and wooly. Uh, so that's what we want to achieve here. And uh, But we also make sure that we don't create too many holes here in between all the spray foam. Otherwise we can, we can still uh, fill that up later on if we uh, find any. But uh, it's easier to do, to just take care right now and make sure that we don't really create a lot of holes here. Just gives us less work later on. And here I'm going to create the, uh, the head. And then because of the weight that the head is going to have, I'm putting here a little piece of wood underneath the uh, snout so that keeps the head up. And then when everything here is sprayed, then I'm going to spray here some water on there that helps to uh, helps the uh, curing process. It speeds it up a little bit. And then I'm also going to do the sides and the front and the rear as soon as this uh, hardens a little bit and in this case here yeah, I'm not doing the the belly of the sheep because uh, people are usually curious to find out how you did this and uh, if if people can still look inside of the animal that uh, is kind of an interesting th thing to see how this is built from the inside so I'm going to leave the belly open in this case Okay, so now we come here to the painting part after the uh, spray foam was able to cure a little bit. So I'm using here two different colors. One, I'm using here black for the snout and the legs. And then, of course, I'm using here white for the body. And I'm using here an exterior paint. So the reason for that is that the polyurethane foam itself is not UV light resistant. So it's going to uh, break down over time. And so the exterior paint will protect this and prevent it from uh, breaking down early. 
So yeah, so I'm going to paint the whole animal here. I am actually using this little brush and I'm painting it all by hand. It takes quite a while, so uh, if you don't have that patience, then uh, you can also spray this with the uh, white paint. That will uh, take a lot less time, of course. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to do this here with my brush. I'm going to into all the crevices. It's going to take a long time here because it's hard to see every little nick and cranny uh, to get in there with a brush and to uh, paint it here with the white paint everywhere. And then eventually it is going to look like this here. So up to now our sheep here can't hear anything. So we want to add a couple of ears here to the head and I'm going to use here this bicycle inner tube for that. So I just need a little piece of that for each of those ears. So I'm going to unroll this and then I'm cutting out here this little piece here just like this. So uh, look at the shape. So the one side is about five inches long and then here the shorter sized side on the bottom is about three and a half. And the shorter side here I'm going to cut straight through and then here's this little this chalk in there so I'm going to clean this out really quick I'm gonna wash this and now I'm going to roll up here the straight side see I'm going I'm rolling this up just about the center and then at that point I'm going to roll over here fold over the top part the other end I'm going to roll this over and then I'm going to use here a little bit of tape and I'm going to hold this together. And then I, of course, we just have one ear, we need two. So I'm going to create a second one of that. And you see here, this is going to be here the left ear. See here how the top part is uh, kind of flapping over the uh, bottom part. See, and, uh, I'm going to do the exact opposite here for the right ear here. So also that it's coming from the top. The top part is hanging over the bottom part. If you compare this like this and you see here the difference. So the bottom one is the right ear. The top one is the left ear in this case. And so now let's attach this ear here. So I'm going to use some scissors and I'm just going to poke here a hole on the side where I want to attach the ear. I'm just going to go all the way through here. This is really easy to go through the foam. And then I just stuff in the uh, ear, just with the tape part. And then with the help of a screwdriver, I'm going to uh, push this here in as far as I choose. So this I think here looks right. And then I'm just going to repeat the same thing here on the opposite side and make sure that the ears kind of align so that they don't look weird and they point into different directions. We are done here and we have our final sheep. Doesn't that look cute? Yeah. So uh, if you want then you can still attach here some eyes to the uh, snout so then gives the sheep some kind of face but you can do that if you like it or just leave it as it is and i hope you enjoyed this video maybe you want to create and build your own sheep now or you even create multiple ones and uh, build them in different sizes and shapes and make them look really interesting yeah and uh, please let me know what you think here Please leave a comment below and uh, if you like this video then give me a thumbs up. 